Good morning. Whew. For forgot to press the button behind here. Otherwise. Awesome. Good. Good morning. How are you doing today? So hello, I'm Marcel, and today we are here for 45 minutes of yoga. If you'd like to join in today, you can do so by coming to a sit, either up on a sitting pillow or up on, up on some books. Make sure you sit as comfortable. And I'm not alone here. So I'm here for the instructions. And Sean is here for energy, entertainment and motivation. And together we're teaching everyday yoga for 45 minutes. If you'd like to join in, try it out. Do so. Do so. Good. So, if you want to join and come to sit and root down through your sitting bones down, get longer to the top of the head, long, long, long. And breathe in deep into the belly, into the chest. And today's topic is excitement. And I know where I'm going to take this. Um, if you like to join me on a little exciting ride towards a small handstand that is accessible for everybody, accessible for you. As you're doing variants, it's accessible for everybody. You decide how far you go. If you like to join in into this excitement, exciting journey together today, do so. And ask yourself, what does excitement mean? yourself rooting through the sitting bones down get longer to the top of the head breathing in deep into the belly into the chest see how your thoughts are changing if your thoughts are changing additionally you can put the right hand on the belly the left hand on the chest and breathe in deep belly into the chest Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. You really want to bring your shoulders a little bit back so you can breathe in even deeper into the chest. If you like, you can close your eyes. And through this centering right now, release your arms down. Feel that the legs connected to the floor, the hip, the... Oh God. <laughs> Today, I'm not, I'm not able to talk. What's going on? 
The sitting bones touch the floor, release the arms by the sides and then bring the arms up by your sides, breathing in deep. Directing the hands up, directing your breath and holding the breath here and the hands are over the head and then release the arms, releasing your breath. And the arms are down, holding your breath just for a moment and breathe in again. And breathing out. Kissing the arms down. And breathing in again. up. Breathing in deep, go in your rhythm. Long from the sitting bones to the top of the fingers and release. Arms down. Okay. From there bring your arms to the thighs and move the hands forward and backward. Connecting to your palms, feel the palms on the thighs. And then move your shoulders forward, then upward, backward and down, forward again, upward, backward and down. Focusing on the backward movement and keeping your hands connected with the thighs here. How does that feel to you? Good. Great job. from here okay, one more time forward upward backward and down forward shoulders upward backward and down release the shoulders interlace the hands and just interlacing the arms the hands and just going in a circle at your wrist how does that feel Straight your shoulders. 
And from here, I feel the excitement. <laughs> For now, it's a little bit slow, but let's go a little bit faster. So let's come to all fours right now. And all fours, so meaning shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Sean, can you move a little bit over? Okay, thank you. And from here, start arcing up from the lower spine up, arcing up, breathing in. And rounding down from the top of the head down. And arcing up from the lower spine up. Rounding down from the top of the head down. Arcing up from the lower spine up. up Running down. and arcing up and lower spine up running down and then shifting the hips a little bit left and right moving in a way that feels good to you Check in what your body needs right at this moment. Maybe make snake-like movements. You can move to the back, child's pose. You can move forward completely. Upward facing that, releasing your head a lot, releasing your neck a lot. See what your body needs. Keeping your hands and the knees where they are. So everything is allowed here right now. As long as you keep the hands and the knees where they are hmm. wow. good move here maybe even bend the elbows see what this changes or maybe make an eight with your hips kind of Coming a little bit into cat cow pose and then release. Sit back on your heels, shake your wrists. Ooh, and good. Shake your shoulders, come forward again, and let's go. Let's go, let's go. Find a good stable all fours pose again. Bring your right hand up, left leg back. Push your left leg into an imaginary wall, get long from the Left leg to the top of the fingers, draw the belly in and up, long, long, long. Draw in, elbow, knee together, rounding, extending. Elbow, knee together again. Extending, drawing the belly up, get really long from the back foot to the top of the fingers and again together, doing great and extending. Let's not do too much today, let's just warm up a little. So come down, change the side, other leg back, then bring the left, line, left hand forward. And get long from the back foot to the top of the hands. And then elbow knee together. And extend. Together. And extend.
standing together elbow knee together and extending good get really long again from the back for the top of the fingers relax your head down that is an extension of the spine Oop. and then release your legs down your hands down now what we are going to do is first some info about the mounts of the fingers so we bring the hands together and push into the mounts of the fingers here so into these mounts of the fingers you push them together and then push the fingers together what we want to do is just press into them and then release you can sit on your you can tuck your toes and sit on your heels if that's possible or put your toes down and just sit on the heels like this and push in really pushing the mounts of the fingers together pushing the hands together and then release and again push in through the mounts of the fingers push together and release this we're doing this to practice pushing the mounts of the fingers into the floor as we are want to protect our wrist pushing into the mounts of the fingers clawing the fingers and release and again shake your wrists the mounts of the fingers good release shake your wrists Pushing in together one more time. You're really pushing in and feel the mounts of the fingers touching each other. Good. Shake it out. And a little secret here. If you're doing this and if you look from below and you're pushing in through the mounts of the fingers, there should be only a little small hole created which you can look through. It should be really, really small. Somewhere between the um, between the ring finger exactly release shake the wrists and bring your hands forward good what we're doing is we're going towards a handstand so it's a handstand preparation today but it's accessible for everybody and if you can't follow somewhere please tell me so bring your hands let's come back into all fours and let's take our hands a little bit closer to our knees um, we are doing handstand push-ups here. Um, wait, wrist push-ups, handstand push-ups, that would be a little bit much. <laughs> wrist push-ups, wrist push-ups right now. So either if you take the hands closer, it's going to be easier. If you go take the hands further away, it's going to be harder. So let's go. If you're doing the first time, please take them close then shift your weight over the wrists shifting the weight over the wrists and then push up with the mounts of the fingers and then release down and we don't want to do this like lifting with the hips so you really want to shift our weight to them to the hands and then let's go for 10 here so pushing up and down and go a little bit faster Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Good, release. And sitting back, shaking your arms. What you should feel if you start doing this is that the lower arm gets activated, that the lower arm starts to burn. Good. Then come again to the front. You can again take it close to the knees or you can go a little bit further. And let's go for a round of 20 if that's possible for you. If not, just go for 10 again. That's completely fine. Shift the weight there and then push up and down. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Good. And release. Maybe there is a burning right now. If not, we come with time. Or if you're already trained there, 
you want to feel it that easy, shake your wrists, shake your fingers, and we go one more time. And honor where you are, it doesn't matter where you are, go for another round of 10. If, if it's new for new, if it's something that you have done before, go for a round of 40. Push the mounts of the fingers really into the floor, especially the index finger mount, and then push out of it. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 14. 14, 16, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Good, and go one more time up and down. Release, shake your wrist, awesome job. So you might be asking, okay, why are we doing this? And the answer to it, the answer to it comes in the next, next little exercise. Because this, this engagement is exactly what it's needed in handstand. And we are going to experience this right now uh, with downward facing dog. So bring your arms forward, push into the mounts of the fingers, claw your fingers. Shift your hips up, tuck your toes, shift your hips up, good. Bend your knees a little and just come into good downward facing dog position that feels juicy for you and start walking a little bit. You can also come a little bit more into a plank pose right now. So it just feels good to you right now. See how your body feels today. How it wants to move. Good. Awesome. <sighs> And from here, bend your knees and start jumping a little bit. So push into the mounts of the fingers, claw your fingers. And from here, get long from the fingers to the hips. And what we want to do is we want to push into the mounts of the fingers. And especially as I just said, jumping a little bit, right? We want to push into the mounts of the fingers. Bend the knees and then jump and see what's happening. We, as we're pushing in the mounts of the fingers, it pushes us down to the floor again. So if you try to jump really with a straight back, if you can, it pushes us down as we're pushing into the floor. Or try one more time jumping without pushing. <laughs> it, f it has a complete different feeling to it. And this is what we need to do to balance in handstand. So again, pushing in a little bit and just jump a little bit more. Just quick jumps. They can be really, really small. It can be a little bit bigger, honoring where you are. And then release, come down, put your knees to the side, big toes together. Whew. How are you feeling? Yum. Stand your arms by your sides, big toes together, knees to the outside of the mat. Ah, also knees to the outside of the mat, big toes together, then reach forward, arms forward, the shoulders by your sides, a little bit away from your ears. Child's pose. And try to breathe in deep into the lower belly, then into the chest. Great job. Good. Come up again. And we go again. Bring your arms forward, push into the mounts of the fingers a lot. Claw your fingers, shift your hips up into the sky, tuck your toes. Tuck your toes. Hips up into the sky, downward facing dog. And from here, get long from the fingers to the hips. Bend your knees and start jumping a little, little bit. Maybe just lifting the floor, lifting from the floor, this tiny little bit. Keeping long from the hands to the hips, as good as you can.
good. And then release again. Knees to the side of the mat. Big toes together and reach forward. Shoulders a little bit away from the ears. <sighs> Breathe in deep. again Whoop. and from here let's go a little bit further so bring the hands forward downward facing dog you know it Look between the wrists breathing out start walking forward when you're forward bend your knees bring your hands to the hips elbows pointing upward and come up with a straight back bring your arms up into the sky Get long from the feet to the top of the hands. And then bring the hands in front of the heart together. How does your body feel today? Release the arms. Shake your wrists, shake your shoulders, shake your legs. Good. And from here, let's take it a little bit further. I would love to do an inver another inversion than just handstand today. So, hmm, maybe later. Hmm. Maybe. Let's see. Let's see how that goes. Still have some some good time left. That's great. So more handstand preparation right now until we go into the final per final exercise climax of our of our lesson together so let's bring our feet to the side of the mat of the short side of the mat and from there push into the outer edges of the feet engage the knees Keep this engagement and hinge at the hips. Outer edges of the feet, connect with them. Good. And you can also, before you hinge down, you can bring the arms by your sides. The wrist should be over the heels. Then hinge and the belly in and up. Not rounding at the moment. Check with your lower spine so we can check with the lower spine that it's not rounding. I'm slipping like this. Okay. You can check with the lower spine that it's not rounding. If it's rounding, come up again a little bit more. And then go from there, hinge at the hips again. Good. Pushing your but a little bit to the back. Awesome. Lower down. Check with your lower spine and then round down. Not just in one place, but throughout the whole spine. Good job. Then from here, breathe in deep into the belly, into the chest one time. And let's go to our exciting journey to the left. Say hello to the left toes. How are you doing? Keep your knee on the right, engage the outer, outer edge of the feet active in the right foot. How are you guys doing? Little toe, pinky toe, big toe. Good, and then change the side. Go to the right. Push into the outer edge of the foot. Say hello to the right foot. The whole foot. Then come back to the middle. Good. And here, what we want to do is just bring the hands to either off the mat or on the mat. Not in between. So I'm taking it on the mat right now. Pushing into the mounts of the fingers here a lot and shifting all the weight to the hands, to the wrists, to the mounts of the fingers. And then from there, jump in. It should be really, really soft as we have all the weight on the hands. Jump out. Great job. 
that's hard for you, just go for a round of three and then come out. If you have already done it, go for a round of ten. Good. Bring your legs outside and come back with one hand to the tie. Come up again and start shifting left, right, left until you stand. Shake your feet, shake your legs. Doing awesome. Whew. We're almost there. Almost, not quite, but almost. So just keep standing. I'm coming on my knees. Bring your arms up. Push the palms up into the sky and draw the fingers down. Palms up into the sky, draw the fingers down. Great. Extend the shoulders out, get long, long, long. Fingers down, push the palms up. And release. Shake your wrist, your fingers. How does that feel? And then to the side. Extend the palms out again. Draw the fingers back towards you. Push out of the palms. Push out of the shoulders. And release. Shake your wrist. Shake your fingers. Great. Let's go one more time. Push out of the palms, draw the fingers back towards you. Lot a lot. Breathing in deep. Use your breath here as a tool. So as you're breathing in deep, get longer from the shoulders to the palms, drawing the fingers back. And then release. Shake your wrist. Release the head down. Release the shoulders and start to jump a little bit out of the out of the knees, just the knees right now, releasing the head, releasing the shoulders. If there's pain in your body, listen to that and slow down or completely stop. If there is no pain, jump out of the heels and even maybe lift. Go. Go away from the floor. <laughs> leave the floor. I want to say leave the floor. Good. And from here, release again. Smile. You're doing great. Come to the front of the mat. Woo. And from here, hinge at the hips. Round the back. Uh, bring the hands on the floor. Push into the mounts of the fingers. Claw the fingers a little bit. And what we're doing is we're shifting all the weight right now to the hands. So all the hands all the way to the hands and then step a little bit back. It's kind of like shifting forward and stepping back. Shifting forward and stepping back. It's hard, it's hard to bend because of your hamstring flexibility. You can bend your knees a little bit more gently, a little bit more push them into the mounts of the fingers, shifting all the way to the hands Place your head down and just stepping a little bit back and trying to keep this movement controlled. And we're stepping back until we're at the back of the mat. Good. Then we walk forward with the hands, coming to plank pose. From here, come down 90 degrees with the elbows, holding it there, chaturanga. I'm pushing up again. And one more time down. Turn the belly in and up. And come up. Downward facing dog and walking back. If I'm a little bit fast, don't worry about it. Honor where you are and do what you can today. Especially this with walking forward and backward is quite difficult. So take your time here, 
push into the mounts of the fingers, go a little bit more away from the feet right now. So we have approximately a foot distance between the feet and the hands, push into the mounts of the fingers, relax the head and step forward right now. So all we do is we lift the toes away from the ground. You can do this also with bent knees. It's quite hard. But you can keep on going. You have you got this. Awesome job. And when we're back at the front of the mat, bend your knees a lot. Hands to the hips, elbows upward. And come up with a straight back. Bring your hands up into the sky. Long from the feet to the fingers. And release. Shake your wrists. Shake your wrists, shake your fingers, shake your legs. And we're prepared. We're prepared to go up to handstand and do a variation of it. And don't worry, I got you covered. So let's come to a wall. The first variation is for everybody. And we can just stay, so you can just stay there if you like. If you like to go further, listen to your body and go further. See where you can go. So first variation is bring your hands on the wall. Shift your hips over the heels. So you have a 90 degree angle here in the hips. And get really long from the shoulders out, the hands as we just did before in when we straighten our arms above the head. And our head is an extension of the spine, so it's not looking up like this and not falling down like this, but it's in the middle. And you can just lift it up slightly and look between the wrists here. Push into the mounts of the fingers. There's so much to explore here. Pushing into the mounts of the fingers, draw the belly in and up. Get long. You're doing great. Awesome job. And breathe in deep and make this comfortable, this breathing here. And then slowly come out of it. Take your time coming out of it. Step one leg forward and release. Shake your wrist. And now we go a little bit further. If you like to come to variation two, we're not going for variation three today. Unless you really, really want me to. And you can write in the chat, of course. And variation to a sitting of the hips on the wall. So as said, this is uh, optional. If you want to stay with variation one, you can. Please just look at the moment and we're doing afterwards together. So sit on the Sit on the wall, extend one foot, then measure the distance with one hand and bring your wrist there. Put, put your legs up and we're in the opposite right now. So it's kind of like the, exactly the same position, but it's just the opposite way around. And we want to re really do all the movements that we have found before and like this will really feel good. Especially important here is pushing the mounts of the fingers into the floor, as said before. Good. Now you can decide what option you want to do, uh, either with variation one or variation two. Completely free, right? And again, either hands on the floor, on the wall, or sitting down on the on the wall. Measure the distance. Bring the hands there where the hips. Where the, where the heel touched, sorry. So sit down on your, on your wall, measure the distance where the heel touched. Bring your wrist there, shoulder width apart, and then step up on the wall and you're there. Pushing into the mounts of the fingers as always, especially the index finger mount, you want it to touch the floor. Good, from here, come up.
and ten. Come down again. Good. Awesome job. You're doing great. You have done variation one again. There's so much to explore there as well. So you're doing really, really good. Whew. So we're not quite finished. I'd love to take you guys to a little inversion even more than just before. If you have done variation one, that wasn't really that <laughs> inversive. Can we say that? I think we can. So let's come to a wall one more time. Bring your hips close to the wall. And then shift your legs up onto the wall. Whoop. <clears throat> and from here, bring your elbows next to the body. Fingers are pointing up into the sky. And if this feels good to you, you can just stay here. If this doesn't feel good to you, if you have some pain in the body, please come out of it. Really, please don't go any further. And come out of it listening to your body. So elbows next to the body, fingers are pointing up, then shift the hips up into the sky. Grab onto the hips and extend the feet. Awesome. Breathe in deep, normally into the chest. This is an inversion, so all the blood that is stuck in the toes is coming down in the body. And we want to, of course, reoxygenate that blood. So, breathing mindfully here. The belly. And then the chest. Slowly, slowly coming down, release the spine vertebra by vertebra down to the floor. Good. And shift yourself to one direction. And today I'll invite you to come directly to Shavasana if you like to do some other movements before. Some movement that your body likes to do right now, you can do so. Please do so. Extend your feet, toes facing away from each other, arms are lying by the sides, palms are pointing up towards the sky. And just be here. Just be. We'll get you back to your body in around a minute. Just be.
Deepening your breath. Start to move your fingers, start to move your toes. And come back to your body. And when you're ready, draw the knees in towards your belly. Shift yourself to either the left or the right side. Coming to lie down on the floor on your side body. In the side body position, release all the tension. Check in with your shoulders. Check in with your neck, with your tongue. Release and soften your skin especially the skin of the face. Great. Softening your whole body. Breathing in deep, the belly into the chest. Connecting one more time with this feeling of excitement, especially as you maybe learned something new in this lesson. Maybe you came upside down a little bit and even if just in this inversion that we just did before. Finding excitement is something a great source of energy, sometimes a great source of energy. Breathing in deep into the belly, into the chest. And with your next breath, lift yourself up, come into a final sitting pose. Close your eyes, have your eyes still closed. Get along from the hips to the head. Bring the hands in front of the heart together as soon as you're there. And I wish you a wonderful day, a wonderful night, wherever you are in the world honoring your yoga practice of this day, releasing the arms, opening the eyes and welcome back. Thank you so much for practicing with me. You can find me on YouTube if you like to check out more of my content. You can, uh, if you have any questions, ideas or suggestions, you can hit me up via Discord. You can go there. You can um, also you're welcome to always write in the chat if you have any uh, messages or any suggestions of where to take this yoga lesson. I will honor that to my best of the abilities. So with that said, let's close it here slowly. Awesome. Let's close it here and let's yeah, let's go raid somebody with my one viewer. But that's that's fine. Uh, okay, you know what? <laughs> let's not do that today. Let's not do it today. Just ending the stream. And I wish you a wonderful day. And I hope to see you very soon. Exciting times. Bye bye.